Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing the topic, order of operations. The order of operations are the rules that tells us the sequence in which we should solve an expression with multiple operations. When you're carrying out more complicated calculations involving more than one operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, you're expected to follow a sequence of rule. And this rule is known as BIDMAS, B-I-D-M-A-S, where B stands for bracket, I stands for indices, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Now, in any given mathematical expression or equation, you are expected to complete the bracket first, followed by indices. Division and multiplication starts from the left to the right. And in any case where multiplication comes first before, you have to complete this starting from the left to the right. Addition and subtraction starts also starts from the left to the right. Now, if subtraction appears before addition, you should complete this first. Now, we're going to have a look at some examples, a couple of examples. So we are now going to take this, our first question here, question number one, add brackets to this statement to make it true. Now, to add bracket to this, 7 plus 14 divided by 4 minus 1 times 2 equal to 14. Now, we can decide to begin from the left-hand side by adding 7 to 14. 7 plus 14 equals 21. Now, divided by 4 minus 1 equal to 3 times 2. Now, let's see if this will give us 14. If this will be equal to 14. Now, 21 divided by 3 equal to 7. Now, 7 times 2 is equal to 14. Now, this means that if this if the first two numbers are added first, and the next two numbers, we subtract the next two numbers. Now, introducing the bracket, according to Bidmas, B I D M A S, which states that bracket comes first. It means that introducing the bracket here means we have to do the first two numbers. We have to add the first two numbers first and then go to the next two numbers and subtract. So introducing bracket at this in this position will make the statement true and gives us the answer 14. Our next example is question two, insert one pair of brackets only to make the statement correct. Now, first I'm gonna write bit mass here, bit mass. Okay, to insert the bracket to make this true, um, let's give a try by trying to begin from left hand side. So inserting a bracket here first, let's verify if this will give us, if the answer will be 16. Now six plus five is 11, 11 times 10 minus eight. Okay, according to Bidmas, we have to do multiplication first. So I'm gonna multiply 11 by 10 to give 110 minus eight. And of course, 110 minus eight will give us 102, which is not correct. This is not correct. So I have to go back, let's erase this one and try to introduce the bracket to the next two numbers. Initially, I tried with the first two numbers. Now I'm going to introduce a bracket to the next two numbers to verify if the answer will be equal to 16. Now, doing the bracket first means 10 minus 8 will be equal to 2. Now, we've got times 5, and we have plus 6. 
Okay, according to bit mass, multiplication comes first before addition. So I'm going to multiply five by two. Five multiply two is going to be equal to 10. We've got plus, and here is six. So six plus 10 is equal to 16. So the bracket in this position is the most appropriate position for this statement. To make this statement correct, we have to introduce the bracket here with these two numbers, 10 and eight, the bracket, the position of the bracket has to be within this, within 10 and eight to make this statement correct. So with this, we've come to the end of today's lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.